Vanish is a company that is well known for its products that help treat acne scars. Now, though I have struggled with acne, I never really struggled with acne scars, so I can't speak on their products when it comes to addressing acne scars. However, I still do get pimples and hyperpigmentation, so I can still speak on products that they create that treat acne and also hyperpigmentation. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing four products that Banish has sent me. I'm going to be reviewing the Banish Vitamin C Serum, the Banish Vitamin C Moisturizer, the Acne Fighter Gel, as well as their Watermelon Toner. By the way, if you want any of these products, use code CHOICE or click on the affiliate link in the description. You can get $5 off orders that are $39 or more. Let's first get into the Banish Vitamin C Serum. The Banish Vitamin C Serum is probably my favorite product that I've used from Banish so far. Before I used the Banish Vitamin C Serum, I actually never tried using a serum before. So this was my first time and I was excited to use it. And so I had high expectations for what the serum could do. And to be honest, Banish actually met those expectations. Now, obviously, like the name says, the serum has vitamin C. So what that's gonna do is brighten your skin, help remove hyperpigmentation and give you that extra youthful glow. If you didn't know, vitamin C is an antioxidant, so it's gonna help fight those free radicals in the air. And these free radicals can actually damage the skin. This is why once you get older, you start getting wrinkles and fine lines. And if you wanna prevent those things, I highly advise that you use vitamin C. So a good way of doing this is by getting this vitamin C serum. Now, a lot of products have vitamin C in it, but the thing I like about this serum is that it gives you this glow to your skin. Once I started using this serum, it gave my skin an extra glow because of the moisture that it added to my skin. I remember I started using this during the winter time when it was quite cold and dry outside. So once I added this to my skincare routine, I was glowing everywhere because my skin was staying hydrated. If you haven't used a vitamin C serum before, I highly advise you to get this Banish vitamin C serum. It is my favorite product by them so far. Also, if you're ever confused and you don't know what's going on with these products, you can always go to the Banish website and they explain what these products do, what the ingredients do, and it just breaks down into simple terms what to expect with these products. For example, the reason why this vitamin C serum adds moisture is because of glycerin, which moisturizes the skin and protects the skin's moisture barrier. It also tells you other information like how long it lasts. In this case, the vitamin C serum will last you six months. If I had to give this product a rating, I'd probably give it a 10 out of 10. Next, we go on to the vitamin C cream. And just like the vitamin C serum, obviously it has vitamin C in it. So it's going to do all those same things that the vitamin C serum does. I've used other vitamin C creams before and I always thought they were a bit too much. They're a bit too greasy. They made my face look way too moisturized and it just didn't fit my skin type that well. I mean, if you saw my face, you probably thought I was baked in the Krispy Kreme factory. However, with this vitamin C cream by Banish, they made it more lightweight. You're able to apply this and if you want, you can even add another moisturizer after. This is what I usually do. I put on the vitamin C cream moisturizer by Banish and then I put on the La Roche-Posay triple matte moisturizer. And this adds a perfect amount of moisture because my skin won't be completely dried out since both of these moisturizers are quite lightweight. Now, the one thing I will say about this is that you want to be careful because you don't want to be applying vitamin C every single day twice a day and this is especially important if you're using any active ingredients like salicylic acid benzoyl peroxide or any retinoids and so even though it is technically a moisturizer i would say limit to using it once a day because your skin might not be able to tolerate vitamin c twice a day every single day it might be just too much and i don't want you guys to have bad experiences with these products so if you're going to use this only use this once a day. And this also goes for the Banish Vitamin C Serum. You also only want to use that once a day at most. But other than that, I enjoyed using this product and I give it a 9 out of 10. Now let's move on to the Banish Fighter Gel. I specifically use this as a spot treatment whenever I get a breakout. So if I ever get pimples in a small area, I'll get a pea-sized amount and just put it on and apply it around that area. Now before you use this Fighter Gel, you need to know what it's for. Don't apply this across your entire face thinking that it'll prevent acne. I see this more like a treatment to acne. It's more so used when the acne is already there rather than preventing it. And for this, it's very good at it because whenever I have redness or inflammation in an area, I always use this to apply it to the skin and it usually calms it down. And the reason for this is the ingredients that they use in this product. As we can see, it has aloe vera and this is an ingredient I advocate for strongly. It hydrates the skin and it has anti-inflammatory properties, which is gonna help treat that acne. It also has other ingredients that you can see on the website. For example, it has green tea extract and that's gonna reduce sebum production and redness. It's also supposed to help with eczema. I personally don't get eczema on my face, so I have and tried it if you do have eczema let me know if this product helps you in the comments below in terms of how this product feels it's sort of like a jelly type consistency and when i apply it feels kind of cold to the skin it sort of feels like putting an ice pack on that area but yeah i think that this is a solid product at calming down an acne breakout so i'll give it an 8 out of 10. the final product i'm going to be talking about is the pore shrinker watermelon toner and like the name says it's supposed to tighten and minimize pores now i personally don't really struggle with enlarged pores so i didn't really notice a difference when i started using this product however something i did immediately notice is that after I put on this toner it made my skin so much smoother 
for putting on products afterwards. I feel like it really prepared my skin for when I applied other things afterwards like serums, moisturizers, or anything like that. Also as a bonus, I mean look at that sticker. They include a watermelon sticker on top of it. It's so fire. Like. It's so cute, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, the toner includes ingredients specifically so that it calms down the skin, as well as reduce inflammation and provide antioxidants to the skin. I do feel like I'm not getting the full potential out of this product though, because I don't have enlarged pores, so I can't really see the results of using this toner that much. I'm still gonna give it a solid rating of a seven out of 10 because it does add that smoothness to my skin for when I apply products afterwards. If you wanted these products, use code CHOICE at checkout or click on the affiliate link in the description, I appreciate it. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and comment, and peace.